<sighs> so, um, trying to search in books and on media, if there is actually something that states what makes you a real Bosnian, I couldn't find it. So some of you might think that this is uh, is some announcement video with me announcing that I'm not a Bosnian at all. If you thought so, then no, because as you can see in my DNA test, I'm 100% Balkan. And for myself, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm nothing else but Bosnian. <laughs> What do I mean with not a real Bosnian? You can look at this from two perspectives. Two little separate stories that I'm gonna tell you right now, which basically say why you are not a Bosnian in very, very different ways. Say that number one is something that I also mentioned in my diaspora video. It means that once you leave Bosnia, doesn't matter when you left, but if you left the country, and you live in a foreign country somewhere else in the world and you come back to Bosnia on holidays or whatever, you will never be Bosnian again. Once you leave, you're not living there, they're just gonna rule you out and you become part of the diaspora and it doesn't matter how, how long you lived in Bosnia, you're not a Bosnian anymore in their eyes because you live abroad and you're all of a sudden some kind of alien who has money and a job. The weird thing is that you're not the nationality from the country that you're living in either. So for example, I currently live in the Netherlands, but no one would call me Dutch. Everyone calls me Bosnian. So everyone that I know says, I, I, it's a the Bosnian guy. It's Dino the Bosnian guy. It's not Dino the Dutch guy, it's Dino the Bosnian guy. And the funny thing is, is once you get into Bosnia, they're gonna say, ah, it's Dino the Dutch guy. Like, basically, as soon as you leave the country that you were born in, the country you lived in and you live in a different country, you come back, you kind of lost your identity because in neither of those two places, you're going to be recognized as, as one of theirs anymore. Uh, this leads to certain situations which are like not really nice, which means that if you're hanging out with other Bosnian friends and they know that you've been living abroad, um, not only friends, but like other people, they try to take advantage of you because you have uh, more money and because you are living abroad. And I'm not saying this, that every friend does this. I'm just saying like in general, once you're from abroad and you come in Bosnia, other people could be friends, could be family, could be random people in shops, taxis, whatever, will try to take advantage of you. This is one of the things which says that basically you're not a real Bosnian anymore once you leave, even though you could be the most Bosnian guy that like, as in, culture wise and yada 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 still ruled out of the rest of the group it may sound stupid but it, it's something that i experienced myself but also with other people from my surrounding area um, who recently left bosnia one month ago two months ago so i have multiple friends moving out from bosnia right now to different countries within within a month with people are from bosnia other friends of ours who are still there already saying ah it's the slovenian guy goes like this in a snap of a finger you're someone else and you're not home in both of the countries anymore well maybe you feel at home but other people are not gonna see you as one of theirs then we have this other issue um what is a stereotypical bosnian like because people think that if you are not a stereo stereotypical bosnian that you're not bosnian at all especially people from the diaspora so people bosnians who moved abroad judge you really quickly for not being bosnian or they actually claim that they know what a real Bosnian is and can judge other people for not being it or being it. Let's say you don't drink rakia or you don't like Bosnian music. I think you better could jump off a bridge than tell your family or surrounding other Bosnians um, if you're in a Bosnian gathering, a party, uh, I don't know, something like that, then actually tell them that. Because there are certain things that are just baked into our culture and if you are not with that or, or or you don't like certain things from that culture uh, you're gonna be judged really quick and you're gonna be be outcasted it sounds really overkill but uh, people look at you differently example um 
probably the, the biggest outcast that you can find in the Balkans or in Bosnia because I literally don't give a fuck about most things related to our culture um, because I find them either stupid and it's not most things as in uh, I hate on everything no there are certain things that I I don't I find stupid and I just don't go with the flow to say so. I'm not a sheep that follows. I'm let's say the one of the group of black sheep who are just parked in the corner. <laughs> Try to say with that. Um, there's a couple of things. Let's say drinking rakia, listening to Bosnian music. And we have the part where you love meat. If you're a vegan or a vegetarian in, in Bosnia or you, you as a Bosnian say you're vegetarian or vegan in Bosnia, I, I, don't, I don't know how you're not gonna be like disowned. These are thing, things which are very normal slash popular to say so in Western Europe in the countries that they're probably living in. And then once you try to imply that there, they're like, what? And even within the Bosnian communities abroad, they still really try to hold on to those cultural things some of them I think are very outdated and very like savage-like. Hey, if we're gonna give an example on the savage-like part, one of the things that Bosnians do is they, um, well, like what, what happens in the Balkans is that they butcher their own um, animals that they put on, they put on a steel or aluminium spike and they bake an entire sheep or an entire pig. Even saw people baking cows, I don't know what the thing is with that. Lever, you get the point. Butcher them themselves in their yards and stuff. Um, all the organs are just like between normal trash and it's just ugh, disgusting. I love me, don't get me wrong, but I, I just find it disgusting to do something like that in your own yard and do it yourself. 90% of the Bosnians, maybe even more, love that. Butchering their own sheep, love the meat that comes from it. I absolutely hate the meat. I, I find it disgusting. There's like only a couple of parts of meat from a sheep that I, that I can eat and it depends on the way it's prepared. But the way they prepare it in Bosnia, definitely not. I don't eat it at all. And all the people, like literally everyone from my family is like, what's wrong with you? That's weird. Like every, every Bosnian I know, even my Bosnian friends are like, what the fuck, what? what? I think that I know approximately, let's say 10 people from all my Bosnian friends that I have which also don't like it or don't eat it or just don't prefer it. This is one of the things that I think that's really savage-like. You could also see this self-sustaining yada yada yada. I, I just, I don't, I think I'm too Western to say so. When it comes to that area, I mean, I don't mind people doing it. I don't mind it at all. You can do whatever you want, but just leave me out of it. So every time I, I have a, had a birthday party, usually people like uh, prepare a whole sheep or bake a whole sheep on a spike for for everyone to eat like as a feast meal. Um, and then with me it was always like a regular barbecue like anywhere else in the world. The other thing is language. Um, a lot of foreigners or people who were born abroad or have lived abroad for a long time forget their language and as soon as they get back they're like Ugh, the Bosnians are looking at them, they can hear your accent immediately. But yeah, if you're not that lucky, you're, it's gonna get no noticed very fast. You have a thing, which is like, you can generally apply it on all the Balkan countries, which is, of course, one of the most sensitive topics that, that I made a video about is religion. People are very religious, they raise their kids, well, well usually religious, not a lot anymore. It used to be more, but still a lot of religious people. I don't have a match with that whatsoever. Let's just say that, that spiritual, being spiritual is something that I could agree with, but um, living according some book that's thousands of years old is not something that I'm gonna live by, if you know what I mean. But telling that to people in Bosnia, especially to Bosnians, is gonna be like, what? What? Like not going or doing all the traditional things um, that come with religion, like Christmas or with uh, Islam, Ramadan and that kind of stuff. That, that, that just really, people find it really, well, quite offensive, to be honest. They're not gonna force you to do anything, but they will look at you differently. Example, all the things that I just mentioned, that's me. Not the vegan part, by the way. No, no way that I'm gonna be vegetarian or vegan. Yeah, because of all those things, people can say or would say, I am not a real Bosnian. Well, at least for the Bosnian people. Um, but then once you start making it, as in uh, becoming more known as because of YouTube or other things, then all of a sudden you're the Bosnian from, abro from abroad and you're one of theirs. 
this is quite funny how people get put away in a box real quick because of certain things that they do but as soon as they reach a certain level of, of, of success um, then you get claimed back it's really weird same thing happens in the Netherlands you can be the idiot they can give you all the shit in the world and then as soon as you become a professional footballer as a as a guy from Suriname as a guy from Morocco or some other country Turkey or something and you play for the Dutch national team then all of a sudden you become Dutch but never one moment in your life before that you've been called Dutch. Only success related things are being claimed at back to the country but when you have your own let's say opinion or your own uh, rules slash rights or things some guidelines in life to say so that you don't want to cross your personal preferences your personal rules the things that you just say to yourself then all of a sudden that's weird or that's not fitting in within the picture. Does it give implications or problems? As I said, certain situations can bring problems or certain things can have problems within the Balkan community to say so. Let's say you want to have a girlfriend and you got you are a vegan, you are uh, not religious, you are I don't know what, what else do we have and you barely speak the language yet you want to uh, date a Bosnian girl from religious family. There's no way in the world that's gonna function and I can tell you that the family is gonna give you a bunch of resistance. So I hope you guys understand what I mean with the title not a real Bosnian that it has different perspectives and different situations which we all can relate to probably. If so please let me know in the comment section down below which part of the video is related to you. If you like the video and of course subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of videos and I see you guys in the next video. Ciao. Because you know the barbershop still closed. Perfect.